Hey, welcome to English 341 Reading Literature for Future Teachers for the fall 2018 semester. I, I just like my favorite class to teach, so I'll be overly excited. Um, as I said in an email to y'all, I'm kind of obsessed with children's books and young adult novels, and um, I don't know how you teach elementary school and not like kids' books. So I'm hoping that uh, if you're one who's kind of like meh, uh, that we get you excited by the end of the semester. Uh, intention with these videos is to, one, see that, oh look, she's an actual human being, and uh, to try to supplement some of the instructions that you're going to see on the on online on our course. Um, I know that sometimes it's hard to read tone from instructions, like, this is due, it sounds so serious, you know, and yeah, it is due, but it'll be okay. Uh, so yeah, um, you're going to notice right away I don't use Blackboard Learn. Um, I have a few of you who were in my course previously. Excited to see you all uh, on the roster. And uh, because I study digital culture and digital literacies, I'm a fan of using things that exist on the web and not just platforms that only exist for school. And I think that's particularly important for future teachers to know what platforms are out there that you can use beyond um, your Chico State experience. And Blackboard's just dumb and awful. And I'm trying to connect you to communities of readers and teachers outside of um, our classroom and that's impossible to do behind a learning management system. So for that reason I'm hoping that you'll just jump in with me and uh, use our website. I would bookmark it um, so that you have access to it. Everything will be posted there. And then the other thing that we'll use is a G plus community um, to share our posts and our makes and our work this week. So your first task, um, I know it's overwhelming when you take a class called Reading Literature and then you look and there's all these books. So just know that one, I am really, really careful about understanding how money is tight and I try not to overwhelm you with hundreds of dollars worth of books. So it's well under a hundred. Um, I also know that it takes a lifetime to develop a class library as a future teacher, uh, elementary school teacher, and really it's so crucial that you have books students can borrow in your room. So I tried to pick, I mean, pretty much every book except for the young adult novel um, is something you ought to be able to use in K through eight. So um, there are books I hope that will start to, in fact, I'd buy every book on the list if you had the money or over the holidays or birthdays be like, hey, buy me these books. Um, we have one professional book in common. I so appreciate Donalyn Miller's ideas. This is her follow-up book, um, Reading in the Wild, and we'll read every word in that professional text. It's not a textbook. It's a professional book meant for practicing educators, of which you are one or about to be one, um, and so that's our book in common. And then you have some choices to make. Um, my suggestions to you would be that uh, in the syllabus and book selection page on our website, besides Donald and Miller, which I have a link to Amazon, um, the links to all those books take you to Goodreads. And um, I'll talk about Goodreads as the course moves on. I use it to find books and you might want to join the community with me. But it'll take you to a description of the book and then they even have links to um, vendors, you know, Amazon and Kindle and whatever, where you can buy the book. But I would be intentional. Like, I would read through the books so you're not super surprised when you get the book and you're like, oh, this isn't what I want to read. So I would read the descriptions. Um, you could, if you were really intentional, you could do things like uh, connect. Some of them are, are really geeky. You'll notice I have things like uh, a series of Origami Yoda and then taking us all the way through to Ready Player One. You could choose books that feature strong female protagonists. Like you could make your own kind of theme by looking at the descriptions of those books. So um, yeah, I would try to choose ones that look interesting to you. When you know which ones you think you want to read for this semester, there's a link on that same page, the syllabus page. It's going to take you to a Google form where you're going to tell me which books you've chosen, and I will use those to form book groups. And I'm hoping you do that by Friday, by the 31st. So I've got a little time here. First thing due is an introduction. It's due Wednesday on our G Plus community instructions and a how-to video all on the site. I already posted one just to kind of model for you. I'm hoping you will upload a picture. It can be a picture of your favorite place or your dog. It doesn't have to be of you, but I kind of hope it is of you so we can get to know each other and form this community of readers. 
Um, that's really the only two things you need to know right now is uh, checking out our website and clicking around and then posting, getting on our G Plus community and, and posting an introduction. Um, yeah, and then we'll read all the things together and make things and talk about things. It's uh, hopefully, I mean, I hope you, like I have a bunch of my books next to me. You know, we're reading children's books, so like this isn't like super hard long reading and it ought to be really playful. I'm going to suggest that for a while you just have a book wherever you go. So when you're waiting for the dentist or you're waiting, you have a book and can do some reading. We'll end with Battle Bunny this semester and I'll send you a link. It's one of my favorite, favorite books. It's a remix of Birthday Bunny where a little boy, not a real little boy, uh, the authors took a Sharpie pen and basically rewrote this text and we'll do some of that remixing ourselves at the end of the semester. But I mean, children's books, we're so lucky, are just beautiful and diverse and so incredible right now. Um, one of my new favorites, it's been around for a while, is Out of My Mind and The War That Saved My Life, both of which are, are part of your choices. I've been reading all summer voraciously. Yeah, excited. I think that's all I need to say for now. Please feel free to email me with questions. Um, uh, Kim is my preference. It's Dr. Jackson. If you can't, if informal is hard for you, but Kim is the preference. And uh, welcome to the fall.